I wasn't recording the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all cramped in this apartment. How y'all doing? Let me uh, let me turn y'all down real quick. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to Fuel Up Season 3. Let me get some more applause real quick. Yeah. I see you, Lithonia. Okay. All right, sit down, though. Sit down, though. It's a show. All right, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Fuel Up. It's Season 3. Season 3. Season 3 of Fuel Up. And we are here uh, in another location in East Atlanta. I keep switching it. I know. I know. Go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. If you're listening to the audio version, thank you. And by the way, make sure you rate it five stars. Hold on, let me get some uh, gunshots for you. Five stars on Apple Podcasts, five stars on Spotify, and any other DSP, whether it be MySpace, Music, Friendster, Tidal, or anything you can find this on. Um, Spinrilla, who knows? You don't know how the, you know, the culture will go. Go ahead and get it. Five stars, all right? But ladies and gentlemen, I am I'm not alone today. Today I'm joined by uh, two people who I appreciate a lot Watching from afar, but now they are finally here. Starting on my right side is uh, uh, one of the members, one of the three members of the Atlanta podcast. He is someone who I was looking from far away. I just typed in, funny story, I typed in Atlanta podcast into, uh, was it Anchor? And then it popped up, the, the, out of all the podcasts, name the Atlanta podcast, this was the best one. From people like Jovita Moore, rest in peace, to uh, Andre Dickens, who is now the mayor. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this man is on the front face. Of a beer can. I think it's pontoon. Let me not say it wrong. Pontoon, am I saying it right? Not if it's right. I don't want to. Just, nah, okay, cool. Yeah, pontoon, shout out to y'all. I'm not on the front, I'm not on the front face of a, of, a, of, a, of a beverage, so I'm, I'm definitely, uh, uh, <laughs> what's the word? Uh, jealous of this. Ladies and gentlemen, Myron of the Atlanta Podcast. Yo, 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 what's good? How are you doing, man? Good, good. How about yourself? I'm good. But I, oh, 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 hey, 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 calm down. I know they love you over there. Okay, but um, not just him on my left side is cinematographer extraordinaire from AV, the cinematography, from also the podcasting too. This man is someone who I'm also jealous of, of also because his video is crispy, it's cracklingly crispy. It's all, it makes me want to make sure that I always step my game up. And this, ladies and gentlemen, on my left side is Laquan of the Blurdy Podcast. <laughs> Laquan, how are you, baby? Hey, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> it's for the Blurds podcast. That's for the for, for the, the Blurds, Blurds podcast. Yeah. That's a blurdy podcast. Yeah, because I thought a blurdy director. Which yeah, that's okay. my yeah. name on it. Yeah. Hey, hey, one take Drake. I'm just playing. <laughs> I wish it was one take Drake. We messed up. But uh, which McCall? Thank y'all for listening. Uh, and if you haven't already known, this is a podcaster podcast. All right, this is a bunch of Atlanta podcasts on here. So to make sure that we start off right. I'm gonna get y'all fueled up. Now, as y'all know, we're in Atlanta, so gotta play some something from the South. You already know what this is. My bad, my bad. All right, all right. That's all you get for free. That is all you get for free. But that wasn't really Atlanta as much as I would love to leave Atlanta. When I think of Atlanta, I think of Veterans Memorial Drive, Veterans Memorial Road, and this, this is really what I think of. Only right yeah. to play this on this podcast. Come on now. Rest in peace to Shadi Love. You're listening to Fuel Up. Bring your I'm not going to lie. When I Every time I hear this anywhere, even if I'm on the down the street on Edgewood, I'm like, oh, shit, what they doing over there? Right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the it's the, uh, the Atlanta Negro Bat City. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> it could be anywhere. You go, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Have you seen the music video? Pull up. Right quick. Have you seen the music video to this? I yeah. Mean, it's been, so it's been a while. But it's yeah. on Veterans Memorial. They oh, in the middle of Venice Memorial with a band. Oh. Hey, let's listen to a little bit more of <laughs> Shoddy Love. Hello. Hey. This is a must right, play right. for every marching band. For, yeah. Yes. <laughs> must yes. play. I don't care if you're in a middle school marching band. You better start playing this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I got one more. This is the. This is a very Atlanta-esque Atlanta podcast where we, I try my best to film every single part in Atlanta. Uh, and not only that, there's a person on this podcast from the Atlanta podcast that just to show love, I got one more. And you're going to love this, Laquan. 
I got the time. Hey. Hey. You know, a little known artist who lives down the street, maybe somewhere, I don't know, somewhere. The dreadhead himself, who was too, he might be too big for the small spot, but uh, Kenny Mason and Dreamville is stick. Just in the field. I'm not going to lie, he, uh, I knew he was going to blow up, but not for the angriest song on the, on the <laughs> J. Cole discography, honestly. I know you're a big Kenny Mason fan. Yeah, I think he got some people working in the background, because like, Last year he get he had a League of Legends like song. What? Like on a World of Warcraft like oh, League shit. of Legends. I was like, who? Is, like he's not that big. Like, <laughs> like I'm a huge fan. And then like even before the last project, he was like on the NBA. He was. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't. I don't know who pulling the strings for that nigga, but call me. <laughs> hey, he's, IT, he's ITP. I love it. Hey, listen, a little bit more of Kenny Mason. All right, that's all you get for free. That is all you get for free. Popping my collar, but I shouldn't even tell you who this is. Three Six Mafia, obviously you knew. Um, all, all last song was Stick. Stick. Just search Kenny Mason. You know everybody else. But uh, Dreamville, J. Cole. Uh, 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 let me see if I know on the top of my head. Jid. Um, who else is there? Who else is there? Who else is there? Um, uh, don't 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 tell me. No, don't tell me. Hold up. Uh, uh, uh. All yeah, right, tell me. I forgot his name. Sheck West. Sheck West mm. and J. Cole. Um, and the third. Jermaine. Jermaine Cole. <laughs> Jermaine Cole. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that second one is Chapo by New York's very own Dave. I hope he's New York on. I think he's New York. Uh, Dave East. Um, also, Static Selector. And who's the other person? Millie's? Yeah, Millie's. So shout out to y'all three. Add y'all to their playlist. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, we have a pod to do. Uh, like I said before, I got the Atlanta pod and the For the Blurds podcast. I cannot believe I messed <laughs> you that You about to say blurdy. I was about to be. I was like, that's a better name. No, whatever. Either, either or. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into the conversation after, after, after this commercial break. All right. I'll see you after. Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for listening to those ads. I appreciate you as always. If you are listening to the YouTube version, you saw nothing. But if you listen to the audio version, you saw, you heard something. So appreciate you in advance. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're surrounded by podcast greatness, y'all. Podcast greatness, y'all. I need some, uh, need some applause real quick. Like I said before, Myron of the Atlanta Podcast and Laquana for the Blurds Podcast. <laughs> How y'all, yeah. how y'all actually doing today? I'm good, man. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm excited to be here. This is my first time being on somebody else's podcast. So I don't like y'all niggas. Y'all got podcast voice. <laughs> y'all, shit, y'all sound like podcast. Yeah, my, I'm, nah, I, bro. Yeah, you no, came no, over. Yeah, yeah. No, to, you <laughs> definitely do. I am lying on this podcast, all right? I am lying. <laughs> it's like, I, yeah, you know, we we interviewed uh, the mayor and uh, I'm like, See, that, that's, him. Yeah. that's him. That's him. I mean, I'm just here for the ride, man. Uh huh, uh huh. But you, I really want to get into things I can't talk about unless y'all were here. And that is okay. uh, podcasting. I don't know if you know the business of podcasting. I mean, y'all know enough. Obviously, Joe Rogan getting a big bag for sure. uh, from from platforms like Anchor and Redbubble that give a lot of money for people to put they they uh, they stuff on all all these sites. It's cool, but I don't know if you new guys knew this. Podcasting obviously is live, right? They have openers for pods now, so it makes me think of what? have y'all heard, have y'all known that? No, no. yeah, yeah. Shout out to Rory and Mall. Uh, if you've seen them tour around, they get openers. For podcasts. And it's small guys like what followings. I think the smallest one I've ever seen is smaller than you, uh, than you guys. Is, uh, pod. Nah, nobody know us, man. It's like N- well, Justin's mom listening. I, it's, uh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's funny because like their impact is like, I don't know. I've never heard these guys. And what's their name? I don't know. But either, or either way you shake it, podcasters now are getting, podcasters now are getting into live show bags, opener bags. Obviously, with doing uh, a podcast, you can get ads. So it's uh, it's looking pretty lucrative. So to start off the podcast, oh, with, with a question, <laughs> what? No, that's just fire. Yeah, it is fire. That's <laughs> why I, I really want to know what you guys think because uh, you guys obviously do pods and 
um, are in it for the long run. You've done plenty of episodes. And when you see someone do more than a seven episodes, I don't know if you know this rule. Anybody who does more than seven episodes, they're probably going to keep going. So y'all wait going over the threshold for a while. So what do you guys think all in all together with podcasting, like the business? You, you go ahead, bro. All right. Uh, I think for the business, I think it's, I think it's still tricky. I think it's like being a YouTuber a little bit. Um, I think people think that they can sit down and talk and they have a show. Yes. Um, you can't. <laughs> uh, I did that in a pandemic with me and my homie. Like our start date was the day of the lockdown. Like we started planning in 2019. Oh, really? And the city shut down. I was like, we should still do this shit. Yeah. And uh, I was like, if, as long as we record, I can edit it later. Let's get in the habit of recording. So um, I think the business is tricky, man. I, don't, I haven't really tried to monetize. I've tried to perfect podcasting. Oh, really? But this year, I plan to monetize. We shut down our podcast to get our shit together, to get recharged. Like, we text all the time because we're thirsty to, like, pod. Yeah. And so I want to perfect the craft before I try to start making money. So, oh, that's interesting. That's what's up. No, but I mean, I, I agree as far as like people. I mean, no matter what you do, if you can get a bag doing something, you know, shit, I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah. Um, but it it does, like, like, like you mentioned, like, especially during the pandemic, everybody was like, well, shit, I ain't got shit to do. Mm-hmm. I think I'm funny. So let me just talk some shit. Yeah. But what I've realized is, because there are, you know, millions of podcasts out there, you really have to stick to one little thing. Mm. Because everybody starts to just talk about whatever's popular. Mm. And I was like, well, there's a thousand podcasts like that. Yeah. Oh my God. And yes, TV yes, shows yes. Yeah. and all of this. So what makes you different? Mm-hmm. That's why we did like, you know, yeah, the Atlanta podcast, but literally we only talk about shit popping off here. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's like booming, mm-hmm. you know. Elsewhere, it's like that's what we're talking about because you come here to listen to stuff about Atlanta. Yeah. Hmm. So finding that one niche w- would set you apart from everybody else, even in a broad category. You still have to say pick one thing. It could be literally Bulbasaur. That's all you're gonna talk about is Bulbasaur. <laughs> the, Bulbasaur the Bulbasaur podcast will go fire, by the way. Yeah, you know? I think so. <laughs> uh, uh, that goes into another question I really want to uh, know from you guys. So I'm gonna start off. Because I obviously I invited you guys here, but I don't really say the story all the time. Mm. I want to ask y'all, why did you guys start your podcast? Because you kind of already alluded to it, but it's funny because there's a lot of pandemic baby great <laughs> ideas. Cartridge is one of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Cartridge is one. Uh, my videography business is one. But this pod is not one, and a lot of people think it is because I kind of started. Um, I started a little bit in the pod, like in the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. So I've said this story before. Um, almost got messed over by a V103. Three, one oh seven nine. One of you guys, uh, DJ, trying to mess <laughs> over a pod that was similar to what you were saying all around mm-hmm. pop culture. Hey, Joe Budden Jr. podcast. Right? Yes, mm-hmm. and um, the I wanted to you know make it my own way because it seemed like my friends just wanted to do it for in, they just wanted to do it just because they felt like a bag was coming, but wasn't really doing it to because they were having fun and stuff like that. So made my own, no video, whatever, and um, just like you, I was like, what niche? I'm like, I was smart enough to know like. People don't just have to do the same pods. Like I don't know right. if you guys have ever heard of um, Gimlet Media that got bought by Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they don't do none of this pop culture podcast. They do all niche. Everything's a story or everything's a documentary, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, what am I going to do? And I chose creators, which is broad enough, uh, but at the same time, something that's something that I like. So anyway, it's been maybe a year officially or two or whatever, but that's why I started this pod. Um, but Myron, why... And how did you start the Atlanta podcast? So this was this was obviously pre-pandemic. We initially started. Um, I think that was I think that was maybe around 2015 to 16. Mm. Something around there. Um Christian Christian like for y- y'all who don't know my partner homie, Christian Andrews, he was he's always into like creating skits and videos and stuff like that. Yeah. So um <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> he had already been doing that for years. Mm. But um, as we, me, Christian, and Justin became friends longer and longer, we always had hilarious conversations at, um, you know, either watching, you know, football games, whatever, or just chilling at the crib. Yeah. Right. I'm talking about just like foolish stuff. I right? love that. I love that. It's always like, oh, yo, you, we should start a, we should start a pod. We're funny, bro. We're funny. <laughs> it it I, wasn't I, even that we were funny. Uh-huh. 
we didn't think we were funny, but just like the conversations that we would like debate about or whatever was just like, we go back to think about it. It's like, did we just argue two hours about <laughs> something stupid? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Whatever. Mm. So, yeah, that's what we did. And we started at my house, literally in a closet, three niggas in a closet. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, the sound and everything. Mm, yeah, true, like, true, 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 true. Yeah. Um, and again, to, alluding to my point, like just talking about something specific. Mm. It's like any and everything happened in Atlanta. Because, you know, Atlanta is not a real place. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta's not a real no. place. Why you say that? Wait, why you say that? I really want to know. Bro, I mean, I'm born and raised here. <coughs> and, the, like, the things that happen on the, not even, like, you know, big news, like, you know, the Olympic bombing. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm talking about when you see a nigga dressed up as a mecha suit Batman with chicken wings down the road, <laughs> that shit's not real. That can't be real. <laughs> but like people don't know how, no. like, day-to-day stuff happens in Atlanta. I think to your point too, when people watch the show Atlanta, I'm like, no, but it's weird like that though. Exactly. Like I was like, it's not a joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not a joke. Like that's Atlanta. You just haven't been here. You don't get that in your little weekend trip. Here. Yeah, no, right. All Star Weekend ain't showing you that for sure. <laughs> so wait, did, did you uh, did you go ahead and? Oh my bad. Yeah, no, I yeah, didn't mean no, to cut no, you off. No, no. So what? When was the? Before I even go back to you, Laquan. What? So what was the day? Um, Cause I know y'all started or whatever, but it was there a day like that kind of took it from. Cause y'all, like I said before, y'all, y'all on the front of a beer can. Y'all have done a live show. You know, you had Freako Rico. Shout out to him, by the way. He followed me back. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, for um, you know, doing the artwork with y'all face on it. So like y'all now know like okay, we're gonna keep doing this for a while. So you know, can you go back to a point where it's like you knew that this is something you want to. This is not something you bullshit. So <coughs> kind of like, I mean, I think like initially our first. X amount of episodes. Of course, we were just talking about things going on in Atlanta, whatnot. But when we started to think about having little known celebrities, so to speak, in yeah. Atlanta, just to, to come come through the pot. Yeah. That to me was interesting. Not even just doing it, but I was like, people don't hear from, like you said, like a Frico. Yeah. Frico, you know. Frico got artwork everywhere. He did. Shout out to Action Bronson. Mm-hmm. Uh, he did his artwork. Oh, so. I need some gunshots. Say that again. He did who again? <laughs> you know, Frico, if y'all don't know, he did the artwork, the album work for Action Bronson. It's the wonderful, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But he's so, I mean, if y'all know Frico, the nigga's hilarious. But he's so low key that people don't hear things from him and he got stories for days. I bet, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, have you seen this stuff by the way? I mean, I probably have. Nigga X and fucking. Oh my uh, gosh, shit's hilarious! Shout out to Freako Rico. He, he's like the superhero. He, like he he does like amazing artwork. Okay, but he's like the superhero uh, <laughs> that can't die. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure like, I've seen it. I just don't know it by name. I want to try to. It's it's a schoolhouse rock looking art. Yeah, and I just wanted to go see because I really wanted to do something where I bought a bunch of that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I was looking into it it's for the. Uh, I think I told you about. Yeah. But, um, oh yeah, yeah. I was looking at it. I was like, "Oh, this is hilarious as hell." Yeah. I've been looking at it for like the last two years. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty dope. But yeah, when we had like, I think one of our first guests was. It may have been the uh, Atlanta Mean Boys. Atlanta Mean Boys. I mean, their tag is uh, Atlanta Meme. Everybody. Uh-oh. Sees their stuff, mm-hmm. but they've never been because I mean they just uh, put stuff on you know up on it on social media like anybody else. Um, it wasn't like f- that many more before we had Javita on. I think when we had Javita on, that was like that's that was really pop. I was already following y'all at that point. I was just I for, what was it? I think y'all did uh, Butter ATL or something like that. And I was all yeah, like, yeah, Brandon. Yeah, Shout out to Brandon from Butter ATL. Brandon. But the, I think I, when I saw that, I was like, oh, this is the, this is the uh, you know how in music, Kenny's the bar for all the, the artists, mm-hmm. like for underground. So I was like, all right, where is that podcast? And then I saw y'all do Joe Vita. I was like, all right, well, got to come for these niggas now. These niggas <laughs> <laughs> but not to spend too much time on you, Laquan, obviously we're doing pod. I don't know if you told, told the full story of you starting the For the Blurred podcast. No, I don't even think we've really told it on a podcast. Uh, I, I think for me... I feel like I live a lot of life, but I don't really talk a lot. And I remember my brother was like, 
he just my my oldest brother. We didn't grow up together like that because he's like twenty years older than me. Yeah. So he always is like looking at like my YouTube and like videos that I might have dropped, and he was like, "Is this you?" Like he had sent me a link. I'm like, "Yeah, that's me." I'm like, damn, you did this too? And I'm like, yeah. And then he found these videos that I was doing. Like, I'm gonna try to keep this brief. I was really broke. No, no, please make it long. <laughs> <laughs> I was really fucked up when I moved out here, um, and like I almost got evicted. And that was like the first time I ever experienced some shit like that. When you first came to Atlanta? Yeah, um, cause like Indiana is like cheap. And um, I had a couple career opportunities. It just wasn't panning out. And uh, that was, like, the first time I was, like, ever, like, depressed. And, like, like my mental health was really fucking with me. Yeah. And uh, the night I almost got evicted. How real am I going to get with y'all? <laughs> Super real. Let's get <laughs> I, it. I keep it. I keep it a G. Keep it a So, sec. look. I was basically alone. And I had a roommate from Indiana. He came out here. Yeah. And I was like, this is going to make shit easier. Mm. He was out here less than 24 hours. He was like, this, this shit ain't for me, bro. I got to go back. Yeah. Wow. Now, this was the same day I was finna get evicted. Because I was... Now, mind you, I had been working more than 40 hours. But with the freelance shit we was talking about, yeah. my money wasn't coming. Even though I've, I've earned enough to pay my rent. It just is not. It just yeah. invoices and yeah. processing. Oh, you got to resubmit. So, I literally am working... Falling asleep at the wheel, and my money ain't coming through. But I've earned it. Like oh, I've yeah, earned it. Yeah. So I was in such a stressful situation, and uh, he came. He gave me half his half of the rent. Literally the last day, they was finna call the police on my ass. I paid that shit. I'm thinking fine. It's gonna be fine. And at the end of the night, he's like, "I gotta leave, bro. This Jeez. is not right. Wow. This is Damn. not. This is not my path." And I was the first time I first and really only time I was like, "Oh, this is why niggas kill themselves." Like. I just, I just wanted that feeling to go away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm going to just sit here. Because if I move, I'm going to do something bad. And I sit there for hours. And then the first thing I did was call my friend Sarah. Shout out to Sarah from uh, <laughs> Eats and Beats Chicago. <laughs> um, and we talked for hours. And then I called another friend and we talked for hours. And my friend was like, if you believe in God, why don't you pray about it? And uh, he was like, create every day. Make money every day. A couple other things. It was a list of four things. I keep the other ones private, but and that's what I started doing. And that's when the uh, four blades. No, that's when I started like making these videos where I would just be like voiceover and cinematic shit. Oh, and my no. brother was like, "You need to talk, bro." He was like, "That's your key to everything." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Yeah, but niggas who talk all the time end up saying stupid shit." Because <laughs> <laughs> I be having a lot of like deep thoughts, yeah. But I don't feel like I need to be doing that every week. Mm-hmm. So I was like wrestling with that because I'm like. You can only say so many smart things before you start saying stupid shit. Yeah. And I was like, well, I want to do a podcast. But I'm like, about what, though? Like, I don't want to be talking about the meaning of life or my revelations and shit. Yeah, we get a, I'm not going to lie. Not to cut the story <laughs> off. We do get a bad rap. If you say you do a podcast, like, I'm single. <laughs> Shout out to Atlanta. Women are beautiful. <laughs> if you tell a woman you do a podcast, she just thinks Andrew Tate or yes. Joe Budden <laughs> or any other bald men uh-huh. who love to scream and... I do like screaming, but I mean, you might like my pop. But anyway, it's, it comes with a kind of conversation. <laughs> so it kind of sucks, yeah. So um, I'm like, all right, well, how can I like give people some of this shit that I got in my head? And I was like, well, I could do more filmmaking. And then I, parallel to this, I got this homie. I've been wanting to work with him for the longest time, but I just didn't know how. Like, we do different shit. Yeah. And uh, I started noticing nerdy podcasts, and it was just like, either white people or like people that I didn't feel like look like me. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, why are we talking about like anime in our thread? We literally will go back and forth for hours in the thread about either music or anime or just like different takes. And I'm like, maybe that could be it. Like maybe we could talk about like nerd shit. Yeah. And like maybe that could be it. Like, and then, like, even with, like, because I was <coughs> going super hard on Full Metal Alchemist and, like, getting all these, like, revelations from go, it. Go level. And, like, <laughs> I think I like I like the OG one because it's, like, every episode it starts with, and this is when I was coming out of my fucked up situation, mm-hmm. I was watching it. And I was, like, I was, all right, so, look, I was watching it. I was training for a half marathon, and I was trying to get my life together. And every episode of Brotherhood, they say, like, uh... They give you the law of equivalent in exchange. Mm-hmm. 
And I remember I was getting ready to go to South Africa to run this half marathon. To South Africa to do your marathon? Yeah. So, so you, like you said, this is the celebrity here. Yeah, see, thank <laughs> you. This is the real Don't ever no, say No, no, it's, it's, it's this, more this, new. I'm going to a different marathon. country to run. What the <laughs> fuck? Africa of all places where them run. Come on now. They run for literally You're days. running against an elite niggas. <laughs> Mo no, Farrell can never. It was more complicated than that, bro. Okay, S tier right. runner. I'm really keeping this. I'm keeping this brief. This is the super <laughs> app. This is an abstract. This ain't even a abbreviated <laughs> version. So, in my Nike Run app, I did like one of my last runs, and I had ran over 100 miles. For and the I week, would, huh? For like the week? No, like in all of my. Really more than that, because I didn't oh, even. I didn't even track all of it. Okay. And I was like, damn, I ran over 100 miles just so I could run 13. That's the law of equivalent exchange. Mm. And I'm like, even thinking about a movie, like you shoot all this shit for 120 minutes, law of equivalent exchange. So I'm like, damn, damn, damn. So I'm thinking like, oh shit. And so like me and my homie would be just analyzing anime like that. So I'm like, maybe this podcast is a route oh, to like I see, I see, I see. get some of my shit off, but I'm not even taking myself so seriously. Yeah. Mm. So um, I didn't, that was a deeper answer than I thought. Yeah, it was. It's, it's, I love it. No, I really it's love like it. Release therapy. I'm, yeah, I'm so yeah. happy you shared that story because I would have thought this whole time was just me and the boys were just hanging around and just <laughs> nah. Just fuck, <laughs> I just fuck, I, I will argue on hundred and hundred. I said put that bitch on camera and then y'all did it. But <laughs> that is way more deeper. And my, honestly, a very charming story because a lot of one of the things about podcasting that kind of gets on my nerves is the same thing with every other piece of entertainment. Everyone thinks it's a get rich quick scheme. And with that comes some caca, yeah. caca podcast. And not to say I'm like King Podcast, whatever, but um, the one thing that I appreciate about appreciate appreciate about this art is new, but it's not new, right? Yeah, and it's really old, kind of. And sometimes, well, all the time, someone always comes up with a new way how to mm-hmm. how to do one. Like uh, obviously, being in Atlanta, we. We have our own views of, damn, who's calling me? But who uh, we have our own views about how we feel like a podcast should be done. But it's not just one way of doing it, right? right. You, you can, uh, people do it off of Zoom. Some of people do it in person. Some people have no one in there. I didn't know this. Um, shout out to Black Hokage. He has a, uh, a uh, what's the word? A solo podcast, which mm-hmm. is him, only him. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, you need a, like a team. He does that like he does Twitch, just straight from the camera to the mic. And it's one of the most successful uh, video game podcasts. Mm-hmm. He stops doing it. I don't know why. He's getting a whole bag. But yeah, um, I, I didn't really have a question with that. I just thought that was interesting. But uh, when it comes to, to podcasting, uh, where do you guys see y'all selves going with this? Just specifically podcasting. I don't know, man, because, you know, we've been on a little hiatus because life is just busy. You know, Christian, yeah. he's uh, back in school full time. Georgia State, shout out Panthers. Grr. Um, uh-huh. And he got two kids. Yeah, I got two kids now. Yeah. Uh, no more, though. Got that snip. I <laughs> got that snip. Got snip. that snip. <laughs> nah. Shoot up. Last episode. Hey, let me get some gunshots because I'm oh, going to yeah, shoot yeah. at the club. He said. <laughs> snip, snip. No. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> uh, and Justin... I don't know Justin. Justin is just Justin. So, uh, <laughs> um, we, I don't think we ever had a goal of getting paid off of this. Like, it, it's a labor of love. It was yeah. just, you know, um, and like, if we got some money, cool. If not, I still got to go to work tomorrow. So, wow. <laughs> um, but what I think, like, Christian and I were talking one time, and I think technically a, a goal became social currency like yeah we're not getting paid with this but like you said we got um our faces put on the beer we didn't pay for that yeah we that had so we dope. had a christmas party at that rented out all the money night garage we didn't they didn't charge us for that wow you know we you know like having like frico on off the strength he just pulled up and he did the uh artwork for our camp twice twice I, oh yeah <laughs> that was y'all second one yeah. The one at the beer garden. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Shout out to uh, Georgia Beer Garden. They didn't me. charge us. We had the whole whole spot and the back. He, DJ uh, DJ Envy that does the Falcons. He pulled up for it. Really? He's the, he was a DJ back then. Wow. But all of this stuff, nobody paid us monetarily for, but folks just said, oh, shit. Y'all want to come through to this party? You're free. I was like, oh, appreciate it. We don't even... We ain't even out here like that. 
That's crazy. Your network, your net. What was it? What's the saying? Your net worth is your network. That's how it sounds yeah. like. That's how. That's how it sounds like right there and there. Um, do you know if? Well, let me let me go to you because I really want to ask both of y'all this question. Okay. Um. Yeah. For me, I think, like I said, this year I'm looking to monetize, but I'm really looking to community build. Uh, I want to start doing like in person events. Yeah. Um, not like so much the culture or cartridge vibe or anything like that, but more like. <laughs> like I thought it would be dope if we did like anime and cycling. Anime and what? <laughs> and cycling. And cycling. Like, like a cycling that's, class. That's what you watch yeah. while you on, on the bike. Yeah. And we like go through like seasons of a show. I shouldn't be putting this on air, but <laughs> <laughs> And it's gonna like, come out till past February. So we'll Okay. I mean it, yeah, that's but the, I'm just saying, like, I just I'm thinking about like building community in that type of way. Yeah. Um because I feel like wild cartridge is cool and all these other things are cool. Um, or like, or this is one one thing I really do want to do. I do want to start like having like anime nights and like candle making. Like, I just want to do that's like so crazy too. Wow. Yeah, like that's where I'm trying to like go with my podcast. So I'm really trying to like build community. Yeah. Like, I know people want to do like cons and stuff, yeah. and I thought that's what I wanted, but I really just want like a nerdy community in like kind of like how we met and like we are like talking about like just more of that. Yeah. 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 That, that's a pretty dope idea in general. Uh, Cause like personally, like watch, like watching an anime with somebody or a group of people is way better than just watching. I mean, it's, it's dope regardless. Yeah. yeah. But when y'all like share that viewing experience and then, you know, when like shit pop off, like, you know, uh, Goku's first time going Super Saiyan. Yeah. yeah. I was with my homies. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Something like that. And, and like doing it in a uh community building way like like the cycle, <clears throat> that shit would be dope because first of all, you can always like pump it up on anime themes. Anime themes are fire. Yeah. Always. <laughs> Facts. Always. So I mean that goes with that, but showing up every week because I was like, man, I don't want to fall behind on this anime. So you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna pull up and exercise, get people like that's a dope, that's a dope uh, idea. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's something I've been trying to figure out, and you know, especially with like shows that come out on a weekly basis, I'm like, I probably would start with with things that are already out to build the community, and then like like when AOT comes out or like Chainsaw Man, and it's just like, all right, like yo, this is a two hour event. We can like do our candles. The show's gonna come on an hour after we do the candles, and then I shouldn't be giving a sauce away like that, but it's all right. It's yeah. all right. We're stealing it. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit. But yeah, I have my shit on record. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's where that's where I'm trying to take it. Like, I do want to make money, and I think I told you too. Like, I just want my life to be easier, and I think I enjoy doing this. Yeah. So, it's it's a labor of love, like you said. But yeah, that's that's where I'm at with it. Well, I really I'm really happy that y'all got y'all y'all eyes on the prize. I know the people. Shout out to um, maybe I'm tripping podcast. They uh, I may have communicated with them wrong. They were supposed to be here, but those guys are. Um, those guys are some people that I've seen who've stuck around. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, they're outside the perimeter though, but they, they, um, they've had their own quarrels with, with podcasts and their own insights. And one of the things that I like that they do is that they started with kind of no, no, um, not too much, like very small community, mm-hmm. Kennesaw State University community, kind of, and they had their own little drama with stuff. Uh, they did a whole basketball little thing. A couple people pulled out. So like. I see how this can go any way you want it. You mm-hmm. want to go whatever you whatever you want to go is kind of based on what you want to pick. Like the power of kind of like kind of like manifestation, whatever. It's like, all right, where do I want my concert to go? I like this. I'm gonna do this, and then they took in a in a small way they took it to a basketball game. You know, mm-hmm. just because one of them was like, I'll beat the other podcaster at, ba- at basketball, and then they had a live <laughs> stream. It was a little janky, you know, a little off the iPhone, but they had plenty of people watching. I was watching. That was yeah. a good old time too. They had an opener. For the the basketball game, it was like an opener one on one. It was very funny. Oh, dope. it was very funny. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to those guys. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they show up either later or I get them on another pod. But um, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually gonna take a little commercial break. So before we come back and talk more about podcasting, because there's a lot more questions that I have been keeping in the tuck. So what I need you to do is see me after this commercial break. All right. I'll see y'all in a little bit. (laughs) 
Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you. You know, I said something in the beginning of this pod, and I was like, you know, we're gonna do this half audio, half visual. Um, but I'm reneging on that. I think we're gonna make this all visual. I'm uh, reneging. Reneging. <laughs> Goddamn. Um, shout out to Clarence. I learned that joke from him. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, I got. Let me get some more round of applause because I got some Atlanta podcast on here from the Atlanta podcast, Myron, and from the uh, For the Blurs podcast, <laughs> my man Laquan. Yo. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah, 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 yeah! There we go, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I've been, uh, I've been appreciating these guys because I, like I said before, we won't talk podcast in any other conversation because most people don't do podcasts. Some people think it's lame, or people listen to it and they listen to just one podcast. Like shout out to <laughs> so, shout out to the people that said that for me. So I really, you, I'm in a special. You guys take a special place in my heart. Shout out to Lexi. Oh, I forgot to shout this out. There's a um. There's a girl who supported this podcast for six months, but there was nothing going on. So shout out to Lexi. Special shout out to her. To pay for something that's not here, just because you support the content, I always uh, that's that always mean a lot to me. But anyway, um, guys, this is the part of the pod that I love doing. You know what that is? What is it? So don't sound scared now. Um, so, <laughs> so when it comes to uh, Pods and interviews or shows or whatever you want to put uh, t- people talking on their microphone, wherever space you want to put it. There's always questions that people love to ask, and it's always this or that. And for you two, because I have two guests, we're going to go one at a time. And I'm Laquan, I'm going to start with you. Okay. You live and work in Atlanta, mm-hmm. and some tropes may come with Atlanta. <laughs> so, as a person who has to represent Atlanta on the podcast space, we're going to have to interview you, all right? All right? Now, here's the rules. It's either this or that. So if I give you black or white, black. you only got to pick black or white, okay? <laughs> That's the name of the game. The theme this week is Atlanta. So are you ready? Mm-hmm. Good. You sure you're ready? Because I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> going to go quick. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, he's ready. Let's get it. Flats or drums? Flats. Polo boots or Tim's? <laughs> why, why is that so funny? Because I feel like I know the answer, but I would not wear it. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Andre, big boy. Andre. Oh, that was quick. I'm very, very proud. Kenny Mason or Ben Riley? Kenny. Oh, damn, isn't that without a doubt. Okay. Last but not least, you ready for this one? Mm-hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I liked it. Right, right. I, I did not like, mean that. That was, that was fire. You need to add that in. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> hey, producers, get that in there. All right, whatever. <laughs> Last but not least, West Atlanta or East Atlanta? West. West? I think. West Atlanta. Okay, well, you locked those in. Let's see what the people think after that. But uh, let's get a round of applause for the Quan. That is it. That's this or that. That's it. That's, mm-hmm. literally, that's literally how it works. Yeah. I'm now you are married it. to the stuff that you said. Like yeah, I think so. The West Atlanta being best in the East, so you can't get in, what's all the we can't come to Ponce no more. MJQ dead with that. Uh, but you love West Atlanta. Oh, my geography is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my nigga was like, Alfred is West, right? Alfred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, that sound right. Yeah, West Atlanta. All right, Myra, it's your turn. You ready? <laughs> Let's go. This is. Exactly the exact, the exact same, but different questions. All right. Oh, okay. Same rules. Here we well, go. I mean, I, I'm gonna request start with the East versus West. My last question too. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna. I'm telling you, I wasn't gonna ask none of those. Not, a, not none of those at all. But you know, what? I'll add in maybe one. You ain't gotta say it. East side. That's all. That's all you. Ah, uh, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. All right, Myron, you ready? Yeah. Hawks or Falcons? Ooh. Oh, and here we got our first stumble. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. Falcons um, or Hawks? Hawks. Ooh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Trey Young or Dominique? Trey. Uh, Matt Ryan or uh, Julio Jones? Julio. All right, uh, let's give you some reoccurring ones. Flats or drums? Flats. And last but not least, East Atlanta or West Atlanta? East, always. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the People's Court. Let's give a round of applause. You guys probably had the easiest one of the whole season. I've been giving people Jay Z versus Andre, and <laughs> Andre, and whoa, really? Yes. Over Jay Z. Wait. Damn. Wait. Damn. Wait. 
Let's get into that real quick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into that real quick. Hip hop is the number one genre in the world right now. And we are now a big, we are one of the biggest servers of that uh, of that genre now. Being here in Atlanta, Young Thug, Gunna, shout out to them. Um, what you gonna call it? Kenny Mason to a, a, a big act like Andre who's been here since 1990. Who knows what? Um, we, we own hip hop. So doing that, how do you feel about like be actually being here? Because even though we're here and we see a lot of news stories that come from here, what's y'all relationship with with music? Because y'all have two different ones. You love Kenny Mason's. You be at local shows. Uh, but at the same time, being an Atlanta podcast, you have to care about Atlanta stuff. So it <laughs> has to be one of those things. Yeah. I mean, like, so music in general, I, I love music. I, I played jazz for years. Um, and so especially with hip hop, I always listen to musical production first, then lyrics. Lyrics are always oh, so you're a beat, you're a beats type guy. Yeah, I'm like I'm Same. like a sample fiend. Like anytime mm. I listen, I'm like, oh, that's a sample of something. That's a sample. Uh. That's a sample, you know. Um, so with that, I as a homie say, you know, you like that, you know, rapidity rap, you know, <laughs> stuff. Because <laughs> like my favorite folks are like, you know, the Roots, yeah, uh, MF Doom, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, are oh, you a Roots picnic kind of guy? Okay. Oh yeah, Talib. Uh, you know. Oh yeah, I'll say less. All right, yeah. <laughs> say less. that that whole that you know that whole the this genre. is most deaf playlist on Spotify. Right? <laughs> okay. So with that being said, like from Atlanta. Mm. You know, um, shout out to Organized Noise mm-hmm. and Outcast. They have fire ass beats for sure. You know, of Rosa, course, of course, lyrics are on point. But I'm just saying, like, why Organized is no, Noise put up so, fire? Why is no one remixed Rosa Parks? I love that. That's probably my favorite song from from Outcast. I don't know why no one took that harmonica or whatever and did it somewhere. But <laughs> love, love Atlanta, love Outcast beats for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, Laquan, what about you? Uh, my relationship with I go with the hip hop first. As a film nigga, like yeah. <laughs> I've run from like music videos, like that whole thing. Oh, you don't want to do that. What? No. You were missing probably. I know. A good thirty <laughs> stat for sure. Especially you. I know. They're feeding for us, bro. I know. They're feeding for us. I don't like guns being put in my face. Not for facts. That's no facts. that's very reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> and I also don't like the entourage. I hate the whole process of music videos and like the way you work yourself up to be worth like fifteen hundred dollars I just feel like <laughs> he's like fuck that but I see niggas getting so much money I'm like sometimes I'm like am I being stubborn you heck you can have um you can have some some policies I shout out to uh Hannah Hannah I forgot her last name but she's one she She's for, uh, she does set design here in Atlanta. I wish I remember your last name. Um, I really want her in the pod. Maybe she might be here this season. She she uh, basically has a rule with that. Like, mm-hmm. hey, I can do whatever you want. If you pick guns into the, I don't do guns and I don't do trap houses. But if you, she's white, by the way, so you know, it's a little easier. But um, <laughs> <laughs> she uh, has a policy where it says that in the invoice, like the rules or whatever. And basically, guys try to get around it by saying, hey, I'll just bring up a, a fake or can you rent a fake through you or whatever? Because she just pops. Right? Mm-hmm. But it's a big stack of money that you'll definitely miss it. Because unfortunately, when it comes to video, there's just groups of people that need you. And one of those groups is, is rappers. I might rebrand myself a little bit this year. I, I don't know. Corporate money just be so much easier. In fact, that's true. It's true. It is easier, you but it's not as huh. You really can get in your creative bag though. I can. I'm over here. I'm over here fighting for them. Like I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're not wrong though. And there's so much more of it. Yeah. Like the corporate bags be easy and it's consistent, but that music video, like them, the music video niggas was not hurting in the pandemic. That's for sure. Facts. I was webcasting, so I wasn't down bad, too bad. But I was still kind of like. All right, so I gotta make a little some shake this month, but yeah. like, yeah, those music video niggas was out here every week, <laughs> every week in the pandemic. I mean, when when next time you know eighty five gonna be empty, and that is so <laughs> fucking true. Oh. You never you never gonna get that shot like that. Oh yeah, my God. not for free. No, no one ever. I don't know if anybody ever did it, but that would have been a. Crazy I'm sure somebody did, and probably just sitting on it in a hard drive. Atlanta got 500 rappers that start every other month. Like, yeah, somebody did that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but to get to your other point, though, uh, about the music, I love music. I think I've gone to maybe like 10 music 
or concerts this year. Really? Um, Dang. And then being from Indiana, like, I got to go to Chicago if I want to see somebody. Or, like, I got to travel at least an hour or two hours. Like, I saw Hiatus Coyote. That All shit was 20 bucks. How much what? is it? What's, yes. what's the biggest city in Indiana? Indianapolis. Oh, they don't, there's not. They, they'll come there, but they might just go to Chicago. Um, yeah. Because it's, right, it's right like, yes, yeah, it's, you, you could just double up in Chicago or maybe get some, like, Indiana conservative at, like, Mm. So, um, and we just used to traveling. Like, I go to Chicago to fly to the airport anyway. So, like, there's already that culture of commuting to do anything enjoyable. So, like, yeah, to see how it is, Coyote, and Facebook is going to be like, hey, these niggas going to be here three months from now. You can buy the ticket today, and it's only $20. And then, like, who else did I see? Um, Alan Stone came here. He's another weird artist, really good R&B. Alan Stone. It sounds like an anime character. That nigga, what that nigga is, he, he's, it's a white dude. He sings R&B. Like some of the most soulful shit you ever heard. Sam Smith Jr., okay. So, you, you know, with that being said, I'm always surprised that when I uh, hear a song before I see the person or the group, mm-hmm. and I'm like, like I'm, I make a bet with myself. I'm like, oh, like, yeah, they got to be black. <laughs> but being surprised, <laughs> like, hi, this Coyote. Yes. <laughs> he's white? Yeah. Hi, this Coyote, they're from Australia, I think. Yeah. And so they don't white? tour here. Yeah, they're white. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or it's a woman. She oh, it's a woman. kills that shit. Yeah, yeah. Fire. I've heard. I've seen her name though. Yeah, yeah. Name dope, dope. But like being surprised, like, nah, this nigga's lying. Like, <laughs> like, nah, I know that's it's an overdub. Right, right. right. But, I, but I enjoy it. You know, mm-hmm. I've really been enjoying this local scene here in it, like in Atlanta. I've uh, I've I've gone on a binge. Like I'm a very I'm one of those guys that like Spotify has a name for us now apparently like um oh yeah devourers or some shit like that anyway but we anytime i like a song or a person running them streams the fuck up you're getting <laughs> 150 from me for sure which might add up to three dollars or whatever but um you get a lot of streams from me and i think the big thing is that here in atlanta there is so many i'm not just saying this just to boost us up because a lot of people like to kind of like people love to over over hype what what uh, Atlanta is just because they're excited to be here. Mm. I'll be honest with you. The, this, the music scene here is fire. I'm talking amazing. Kenny Mason, uh, 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 Ben Riley, Candy Artisan, Jay Newton. You have a bunch of people that no one knows. And then once you get in, once you get a little bit into it, or oh, Mod Anonymous, once you get a little bit into it, oh, you be like, oh my god, this man's amazing. And mm-hmm. it's so many of them, so many of them. the underground city alone it is is crazy. And I realized that. Um, I mean, everybody's still late to the party. It's been 20 years since Andre said the those famous lines of uh, the Source Awards, and people are still, yeah, still like, oh, you know, it was popping over here. <laughs> you came from All Star Weekend, so um, I think one of the things from this city that I'm going to never take for granted is the the culture for sure mm-hmm. is unlike most. I went, I remember going back home to New York and forgetting that black people exist uh, in small doses compared to here, <laughs> right? So. Uh, question to y'all what is something in the city or anything uh even if you live around the city uh that y'all appreciate about uh atlanta a little stumper right there well i i got some shit i just was i feel like i'm talking about um definitely the black people coming from indiana like you talking about new york (laughs) like indiana like i don't know i thought indiana was black town usa no gary (laughs) (laughs) i thought it was blacker than that isn't that where reggie miller went crazy isn't that where he's from? I, I don't know if he's from there, but he played I mean, there. Played, but no, nah, yeah. it ain't no niggas in there. I was playing. I, I would imagine. Um, but um, black people and ability to make money, honestly, it's like the two things that keep me here. Like in in a fusion, I think the cultural fusion, like like cartridge, like yeah. I don't. I think people are gonna recreate that, but it won't be this because I think cartridge and all of that shit is very Atlanta because the nerds. Ain't like this, I don't think, everywhere. Like, I remember I was getting going, trying to go into a joystick, and they was having a super in-depth conversation about Pokemon. And then somebody bumped somebody, and they got the gang banging real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then they went back to talking about Pokemon. And I was like, yep, that's some Atlanta shit. Nah. <laughs> what about you? I might have to low-key piggyback off of that. And it's like the combination of black people in general, we are supremely hilarious. For sure. You know, um, 
but it's something about the Atlanta black people. Again, I told you, Atlanta's not a real place, right? <laughs> Watch the show, Atlanta. That's literally what it, how it yes. is. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like a thousand percent. Yeah. Like, I mean, case in point. So I went to uh, Shambly High School. Oh, really? Right? That's uh, that's APD? It's APS? Oh, no, 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 no. Shambly is what? It's Shambly, uh, if you go, you know where uh, Brookhaven is? Yeah. Literally. Oh, North, North Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But, Fulton, Fulton County? No, nah, that's the gap. That's the gap. Okay. gap. Yeah. But so, like I said, I, you know, I play jazz. I, I play trumpet, right? For the longest. But in uh, high school, DSA, the Cap School of Arts, where Donald Glover went to high school. Stole my last um, <laughs> Yeah, I actually met him before he was famous because. Really? The DSA, yeah. So they were doing a, um, a, a musical and they didn't have enough people to play in the pit. So they're recruiting like people from around, you know, high schools around. So like me and my homie, he plays Barry Sax. Um, we auditioned, we got in to help them out to, um, for their musical. Yeah. This school, the old DSA, not the new building they have, uh, was half of a school. Mm. It shared, it was two schools in one building. It was DSA and Open Campus. I don't know what Open Campus is. It's for um, juvenile. Oh shoot! So they shared one building. So we go in. Of course, you see DSA. It's like literally an artsy school. So you got. I mean, I walked in. I'm just like seeing art all over. I was like, that's dope. I'm seeing people singing in the corner. Okay. Then I got niggas like literally pirouetting, balleting over <laughs> lunch chairs. It's like, what are you doing? Like, oh, that's not because they were practicing. This nigga was trying to get from one room down the other. I was like, why are you dancing? But this was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's how the school was. That's crazy. And again, like I said, I had bumped up into Donald Glover, but obviously this is high school, mm. you know, because um, I think he's actually a year older than me, but he was there for something. I don't know what. Was he Donald, was he Donald Glover, the actor at that point or something? Or was he? No. He was just, at, he was at school? Yeah. Oh, he was your, y'all went to the same school? No, 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 no. Your, I went to Shambly. He went to DSA. Oh. So we okay. were there for um, practice. To help them with the musical. I see. Yeah. He's like, hey, my name is Donald. Just. Yeah, like anybody else would. Yeah. I mean, hey, you know. <laughs> I'm going to be famous one day. <laughs> right, right. That's crazy. That, that, the whole, like, the shit is crazy because you get this enriched um, community of mostly black people and all types of the arts. And then you walk down the hallway and it's niggas that are there for shanking somebody. <laughs> That's in the same building yeah <laughs> that's nuts well i'll tell you this i uh i am so proud of um how kind of everything is we're on one camera by the way we're on one camera oh, gotcha, gotcha. yeah but uh what you got uh, hey you too by the way appreciate y'all <laughs> if you see why nothing's ble- anyway whatever um what you call it uh i tell you one thing um one of the things that i'm really excited about is that now that we're fresh out the pot out the the pandemic that's about to go a little crazy i'm I noticed that a lot of black people have been getting their due diligence and getting their pilots greenlit. They got a lot of money for that. Mm-hmm. A lot of funding for a lot of other things. Shout out to Taylor Two Wavy. She has a little, uh, almost podcast type thing where she talks to artists. That got funding too. So the whole space, if you just in the proximity of Atlanta, seems like it's like, oh, you're from Atlanta. Oh, and you're dope. Right. It's $50,000. So I don't know what's going to come from this, but uh, I'll tell you this. Uh, I hope fuel up is uh, amongst the the those creative things because I, I look at you guys and I know that y'all are going up. So I'm just trying to keep up with the Joneses. If that makes sense creatively. Nah, man, I'm trying to keep it with y'all, man. Y'all, y'all the real creative. Uh, <laughs> like I'm said, trying to get like you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's some black barbecue shit. You know, you, you can't take a compliment. <laughs> black people can't take a compliment. But um, I'm actually going to end the pod here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining on to fuel up. Uh, if you haven't already, let's put this music down real quick. I already told you. Put some respect on my name. So what that means is you need to put five stars on, five, on Apple Podcasts. Five stars on Spotify. Five stars. Public Radio. What else we got? I don't know what else uh, Anchor does this thing to. Shout out to Anchor, by the way. They're the sponsor of the episode. You know that if you listen to the audio version. If you haven't listened to the audio version, what are you doing? Go ahead and do that. I'll run it up for me. And um, But make sure you do your due diligence and go into five stars on everything. Fellas, before I go, is there anything else you guys would love to say before I end the pod? Yet again, east side over west side. 
Grr. Brr. Shut up. <laughs> it's like, whatever, nigga. <laughs> whatever, nigga. Hurry up, bro. Hurry this shit up. I don't even give a fuck about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your face said everything like, and, nigga? <laughs> He was like, I said it one time, I didn't even know where West was. <laughs> well, I should take my fucking ass. <laughs> uh, but nah, nah, this was fun. Uh, thanks for uh, having me on the, on the pod. Uh, of course, of course. Appreciate, I'm... appreciate meeting you. Oh yeah, you too. Uh, you got some dope shit. I'm gonna definitely uh, follow you up. So, appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, so camera over there, yeah, over there. Um, hit us just, up just at one. the Atlanta Podcast mm-hmm. on uh, IG, Facebook, and like that. Um, and my uh, my personal joint, not that I'd be posting like that, because it's really just be beer, my kids. Mm. But uh, if you love it, if people love that, right? But uh, jack of all drafts. <laughs> oh, and also before I even give it back to Laquan, uh, 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 Atlanta podcast. I'll say it for you, Atlanta podcast is a podcast, obviously about Atlanta. But um, they shout out um, a draft every year. I'm not a drinker, so I don't know nothing about IPAs, drafts, or any oh, other yeah. stuff. But yeah. uh, it's a good listen. Y'all do that. Um, but going on to Laquan. Laquan, is there anything you want to say before we end the pod? Uh, yeah, I appreciate you for having us on here. Uh, definitely trying to come back. And sure. uh, go listen to For the Blurs podcast, For the Blurs on all social media. And if you want to find me, uh, I am Quan Kamikaze with two E's. Uh, I'll be making films and shit. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a this is, these are gems sitting on this couch, all right? So, do your due diligence. Uh, uh, Quan. Now, I know you just explained yourself, but I love to reinstate because some people don't like to give their shit the proper <laughs> zest that it needs. Fire-ass cinematographer, okay? It's fire-ass cinematographer. I told you in advance, all right? Um, but ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this pod right now. So thank you for joining, but you already know what to do. I'm going to catch you next week. And if you're listening to an old episode, then I'll catch you in a couple minutes. But either way, we out of here, all right? Appreciate y'all. See y'all next week. Oh, 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 oh